basically, I think it's a, it's a market consensus in terms of the price is very high, especially in the past nine months. So just for context, I can give you an example. It's uh, one of the big four banks in China uh, in Q2 this year launched a huge NPR portfolio. It contains 23 uh, sub-portfolios across the country. And uh, because we, we, we in Shortline normally track every uh, deals in the market, so um, you know, in that 23 portfolios, and uh, the highest transaction price is 75 cents to a dollar, basically in Zhejiang, and, uh, which is the most active um, uh, NPR investors. And uh, the lowest is uh, 23 cents in inter-Mongolia, and some place you don't want to go. And the average is 45 cents to a dollar. If you compare these figures to um, the actual buying uh, uh, price of ourselves in 2015, or sometime before prior to the 2016, uh, you know, I, our purchasing price average is slightly over 30 cents. If you look at the uh, competition landscape, and um, the reason why the price has been pushed up in the last two years is especially a lot of local investors in China are looking for underlying assets. They used to invest in private equity products, and they used to uh, invest in the property, and they used to invest in the venture capital. But now, um, all of these products, you know, the price is pushed high, and you know, MPL uh, distress becomes something in two years ago becomes something become their you know their attention, draw draw their attention. So. Um, and uh, the second, if you look at the capital structure of these local competitors, uh, the normally they have a senior churn. There's a it's a structure, structure product. It's not um, you know a, a normal fund. They have a senior churn, mezzanine and junior, and the normal duration of those uh, uh, structure product is you know half years. So you, which means in six months' time they have to pay some interest and uh, repay some principal. I understand in the market now, there's a number of local uh, investors has some pressure in terms of how to deal with, how to repay those liabilities. So that is one of the major reasons that um, you know, we believe the price will be come down a little bit. A lot of the local GPs uh, used to focus on MPL are thinking of you know, moving to a single asset deals or single credit deals, uh, if you like. And um, you know why we have such an idea is coming from a, a several analysis, because we, uh, Sean and I, you know, currently have historically total have over thirty different NPR portfolios across the country. So when we sum those up and analyze the underlying assets or the underlying collaterals or the nature of the, those borrowers, we can easily identify which sector are under distress and which, um, what kind of collaterals are most centralized. That is why we have such an idea that, you know, moving from a, um, a, a, a portfolio level to a single asset level, I think the key challenge for us is, you know, we are very good at, you know, sort out the legal issues of those steps, and, um, um, but we are not a, you know, an operator of those assets. So in order to enhance the overall value and the return of those investments, we have to have a right partner. So that's why I think since this year, we have uh, interview or in some discussion with some external partners, such as no matter it's a GP or no matter it's a, a small team that have uh, industry background. And um, so what we typically do is, you know, we identify those deals, um, you know, clear up the debt, and then ask them to join the team. And then we have some economic sharing, and then uh, they help us to enhance the value of the underlying assets. If you look at from a market level, and um, you know, a lot of people talking about the capital control in the past two years, and the currency risks, and that, uh, um, you know, is a, I think, well, I think all this will be temporary. If you look at ourselves, we have repatriated, we have successfully repatriated nearly 300 million USD because our collection is in renminbi, but uh, we are able to you know, convert and repatriate 300 million USD back to our LP this year. I think um, it shows you know, the openness and um, 
uh, uh, and uh, there's no sort of uh, really control in place as long as you have a good relationship with the banks.